What's up everybody? Many of you have requested a video about how we have finished and decorated our small single wide mobile home. What materials we chose, decorations, etc., to keep this space feeling bigger than it actually is. So today we are going to share some of the things we did to keep our small space light, airy, and happy. To begin, let's talk about paint. A lot of you have commented on how light and bright our small home appears in our videos. Besides some of the camera adjustments, etc. It's true, it does feel bright and open, even though it's only 14 feet wide. The reason for this has two components. The first is windows. This is common knowledge. The more windows you have, the more natural light is let in. But what about when you live in a smaller space? Whether if you are in a tiny house on wheels, a mobile home, or a regular site built home, the more windows you have in your space will determine how much natural light can reach your interior living space. Now I'm sure if you are watching this video, you have likely seen some tiny house tours here on YouTube where people really utilize as much natural light as possible to make their space feel bigger. Same concept with a mobile home. Most people think that mobile homes are these dark and dingy spaces, but this is very far from the truth. The reason this is a common misconception is that mobile homes are often packed together in mobile home parks. This reduces the amount of light they can get. I promise you can find mobile homes, even old ones like ours that have plenty of windows and offer an abundance of natural light. The second component to how we keep our mobile home light and bright is our paint selection. We chose Olympic Assure Interior Ultra White Paint and Primer All-in-One from Lowe's. This made the job a whole lot quicker and a whole lot easier. We used this paint throughout the entire house except for the bathrooms. The reason we chose Ultra White is to maximize the use of natural light. When you have small spaces, it can be difficult to make them feel larger than they actually are. Darker colors tend to not be as inviting to natural light and can make spaces that are already small feel smaller. So we stuck with Ultra White throughout the entire mobile home to make the best use of all the natural light, which in turn makes the space feel wider than the 14 feet that it is. Now Amber is going to discuss some of her decor choices for our mobile home. As for the interior decor, it was difficult coming from a larger home with more room to decorate. I had to remind myself to keep it simple. Like what Dean said, we were going for a light and airy appeal, and so the decor, no matter how little of it there was, had to fit into that style as well. Several of you have asked about multiple aspects of the interior of our home decor. To begin, let's talk about the curtains. So when Dean was renovating the mobile home, he spent a lot of time at our local Lowe's, mainly because it's the closest thing to us. As such, we kept our eyes out for sales and checked the clearance racks every single day. There was one day they were having an Allen & Roth sale, which I was excited about because they make good quality products, just not at a very affordable price. So when their sale came up, we jumped on it. We chose to go with the Allen & Roth Jacqueline curtains for the main living space in our mobile home. Again, there were two main reasons for this. The first was that the curtains were light and added to the bright space that we desired. And the second was that they were affordable at the time that we purchased them. And of course, I just love the way they look. At the time, I knew I wanted the white curtain rods. So we purchased the Allen & Roth white steel curtain rods at the same time we purchased the curtains for the same reasons. We love the way these curtains provide a small splash of color against the white walls, yet still give us the bright space we desired for such a small area. As for lighting, we only really swapped out a few light fixtures. The dining room light is my favorite. Keeping with the Allen and Roth sale, Dean got this pendant light on sale for 50% off one day. It's the Allen and Roth Valley Mead light, and I love it. I'm not sure if you would call this a dining room, or just an eat-in kitchen or a nook or whatever, but we knew we wanted a light fixture that would look modern and offer another dynamic element to this space. As previously mentioned, it's a small space and so we have to pick and choose carefully what we bring in, and we're glad we picked this light. We also chose to go with LED lighting throughout the entire home. This includes this pendant light. We used LED Edison bulbs in this light and we think it just adds another level of that modern farmhouse style that I like so much. Another area that is often brought up is our children's room. Yes, all three of our children share a room, and yes, it can feel cramped in here at times. It's a small room, and we knew we were gonna have to maintain the bright theme in here as well. 
So we stuck with the white walls and we went with all white furniture too. We went with darker curtains in the children's room because their room faces south and gets a ton of natural light. We need them to sleep good even when the sun is still up. So we wanted to be able to block out some of the natural light when necessary. Speaking of that, we admit that we are so lucky to have so many windows in our mobile home. And since we're on a large plot of land, we get plenty of natural light, which adds to the brightness. But this isn't always the case for smaller homes. Just remember what Dean mentioned. When you have a small space, darker tones have a tendency to make the space feel smaller than it actually is. You want to maximize the space, and this includes visually. Here are my tips for finishing and decorating your smaller space. Use lighter tones of paint. This will keep the place looking light, bright, airy, and clean. Use lighter colored curtains and curtain rods. Remember, darker elements can make smaller spaces feel even smaller. Try to use lighter colored furniture. If you choose to make your furniture your statement piece, try to keep it within the same color spectrum as the rest of your space. Even if it's a darker piece, if it's within the same spectrum, it can add a nice dynamic touch to the space. And finally, it's the walls we have to think about. The walls are what will make or break a smaller space. Keeping the walls clean, light, and bright will make the space feel much larger than it actually is. Just like the curtains, pick and choose what goes on your walls carefully, because too much on the walls will make the space feel smaller. I hope these tips help. If you have questions about any of this stuff, just leave a comment below. We hope you liked this brief overview of how we finished and decorated our small mobile home. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you have not already and ding that notifications bell to know when we post a new video. And don't forget to comment below. Let us know what questions you have, anything at all. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.